Hi guys, join me as I do my faux butterfly locks. Okay, so I purchased two different colors. One was 1B and one was 4B so that I can have some kind of texture going on. Both were 18 inches. You're gonna need a crochet hook, a rat tooth comb to separate, a regular size rubber band, as well as a little rubber band. The little rubber bands are to section off the hair, of course. A clip to keep your hair out of the way. Old fashioned grease. Jam for the perimeter. And of course, my trusty denim brush. Let's get started. On freshly washed and straightened hair, I put in twists. Um, as you can see, I installed one crochet just to make sure my twists were not as thick and could be applied without um, any real issue. In the front, my twists are much smaller than the ones in the back, as you can see. Um, that way, my hair will not look as bulky as I have thick hair. I fast forwarded the shot. This whole process took about four hours, uh, maybe even less. And now I'm gonna show you close up how I install. Um, I use the crochet hook at the perimeter or at the base of my hair. And then I take the actual hair and I will hook it through and connect it. It took me a little time to kind of separate. So I'm gonna connect it right now and hook it through. I'm not gonna go all the way you know, through. I'm only gonna do a little bit. And now I'm going to take my natural hair and push that through first. And then I'm going to take the actual faux lock and um, pull that through. And once both are pulled through, I am going to then tighten at the base of my hair. Don't take a look at my face, I'm really concentrating. Okay, so as you can see, it's tight at the base, and now I'm going to use the crochet hook to feed through, um, through the actual faux lock, all the way to the top so that I can pull my natural hair down the shaft of the faux lock. That is how I install my hair. I don't know how other people do it, but it's easiest for me to do it this way. And side note, do not look in the mirror as you're trying to, you know, uh, go through with the crochet because it will take you forever and it will mess you up as well. So I don't look at the mirror when I'm doing this process, but I will look at it when I'm pulling through because I want to see how much is left over and I want to make sure I pull all of my hair um, through, that, through that faux lock. Okay, so I manually will pull and kind of tug a little bit and I will work the faux lock down. I'm not going to pull it straight down because I still want that uh, kind of messy look. I still want that to be present. And so whatever is left over, I am going to into the faux lock again. And I'm sorry, I didn't capture that, but I'm going to enter the faux lock again and pull in the remainder of my hair. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull in the whatever it's left over and I'm gonna pull that through and fix the lock on top. And there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.